Hello everyone and welcome to GT Guild Gaming. Happy Friday. And hopefully it's not like last week's Friday where everything was freaky and it was also Friday the 13th. So hopefully it's not like last week's. And I've been very slow on uploading the YouTube videos lately because I've had a lot of homework the last couple of weeks and it's just getting more and more every week it seems. So I'm going to try to do them late at night before I go to bed so that way I can get them finally uploaded. Anyways, I hope everybody's had a great week. Hope you're ready for the weekend. So, it is Freaky Friday, randomized Marvel Legendary. And this week, we have Carnage. He always, they, he always leads maximum Carnage. His Master Strike is Feast. Each player, when uh, this Master Strike feasts on a player's zero-cost hero, they gain a wound. So, he's only 9 to attack. And then, it's Avengers vs. X-Men. But in this case, it's going to be the Venom vs. Vers the Mercenaries of Deadpool's uh, friends. So... Uh, so we have, uh, for the Team Venom, we have Venom Rocket, uh, Venomized Doctor Strange, and Venom Pool. <coughs> Excuse me. And for the uh, Deadpool side, or Team uh, Mercenary, we have Slapstick, Solo, and Stingray. And so... The story is this, Carnage is out of control, the Venom guys are trying to get him under control again, they Venomize uh, Deadpool in the process to help them out, uh, Deadpool's friends are not happy about it, so they blame uh, Carnage for it, so they're trying to take out Carnage, while the Venom guys are trying to save him, but knock him out so they can, you know, take him back and get him back under control. All right, so yeah, and uh, so yeah, it's a uh, very interesting how this scheme works. It's actually one of the more fun schemes. It's actually, I wouldn't say it's the easiest scheme, um, but there's nine twists. Uh, hero deck has three heroes on each team, and then twist. Uh, each player reveals their hand. Each player that has cards of both teams, uh, so in this case, both Venom and Deadpool, uh, they gain a wound. So, um, the goal is, to one side is going to be Venom, the other side Deadpool, and then Evil wins when Twist 8 happens. So Carnage basically, he wins, he escapes, you might say. That's the best way to put it. Alright, so, here we go. Round one, fight! Master Strike, right off the bat! That's not nice. Well, we already know what's going to happen. Tough card is a trooper for player one. It's a zero. They gain a wound. Blunt force trauma. Ouch. And then for the right-hand side, it's an agent and get a wound this time spreading nanovirus ow <sighs> man not nice at all not a good way to start this game okay so I have four and two um, let me go ahead and get these two venom people out of the way so we got Doctor Strange and Venom Pool just to open it up because I have a lot more Venom than I do uh, uh, the dead, uh, the Deadpool team or Team Mercenary. Okay, that's a little bit better. And then that's five. We need to shuffle to get six. 
be surprised at that. I already got feasted once. And in here is also, for the villain deck, we have Maximum Carnage. Um, uh, the Death Heads are the Henchmen and Emissaries of Evil. Scheme Twist, number one. Okay. Well, that's all Shield, so we're good there on the right-hand side. All Shield on this side, okay. So, all right. Uh, for three recruit, we will go ahead and get this uh, solo. It's a uh, two and a half attack, excessive violence. You get plus one recruit. Oh. We already have a rare out. We'll take a look at it here in a minute. That's five. Six. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My allergies are doing a little bit better. Okay, so this rare is actually of Venom Rocket. Uh, when a Master Strike is played, before it takes effect, you may put ultimate cyber from your hand on top of your deck if you do you may put any card from the HQ into your hand that's not a bad card okay so let's see here alright are we going to get a villain? yeah we got death heads okay my one attack is not going to hit anything my five recruit, however, um, let's see here. We can get the Venom and the Venom, I mean the Rocket and Venom Bull. Um, or we can just get, uh, uh, can I get a little gratitude? Um, but let's go ahead and get these two just so we can open up more. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now we got two Deadpools and or two mercenaries and two uh, Venom Burst guys that we can at least rec try to recruit in a rare. <laughs> okay. Uh, Master Strike. Okay, right side card is a zero. So we will have to get another wound. And the top card for the left hand side. Ah, well, there goes a the Venom Pool card, but at least don't get a wound. All right. So I can hit them. I don't outwit them because I only have zeros and a three costing card. So I don't get to use the fight of fat to outwit to KO anything. But I do have four recruit. Um, which I'm going to get this uh, uh, deck, deck chairs on the Titanic. Okay. Draw a card and then you may move a villain to adjacent. C space if you, there's already there swap them so that's a good one. Oh, now we got Venomized Doctor Strange's rare out already. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Death Heads are back. <sighs> only only Carnage would pick somebody like the Death Heads to join up with him. Okay. So my two attack and a blood floor trauma. Not gonna be able to do anything. Three recruit. I don't have nothing nothing to recruit here. So I'll go ahead and get special agent. Because I need more recruit anyways. 
So I got a couple of rares for the Venom side I should try to get. Scheme twist number two. Ah! That's where all Maria's. Alright, and again, just to show, got Venomverse on the left hand side, right hand side. Huh, just sprays. Alright. Which is enough to take out the Death Heads. And then with two recruit, I'm just got enough for a sidekick. When I was going through the all the different options for today of all the different games I've randomized over the past month, because I say I, I if I see one, I like to I save it so I can play it for later. For these days, and uh, uh, there was quite a few of them, but one of them was um, was the same scheme, um, and the two teams was uh, Shield, and the other team was uh, the Brotherhood of Evil. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens with this one. Okay, so radiation scientist gets kidnapped by uh, Carnage. Not very nice of him at all. Okay, uh, digest two. I have I have no victory pile yet. Haven't been able to hit anything. Um, digest two. Um, nope. Indigestion, rescue a bystander. Okay. Well, I'll get a bystander. And then one attack. It's not going to do anything. Blood force trauma is in a way. So I have three recruit. Again, not enough to get anything. So we'll get another special agent. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, my elms. Good to see ya. Hope you're having a good week. Uh, so the setup is uh, Avengers versus X Men. But in this case, it's the Venom guys versus the Deadpool guys. So we got Venom Rocket, Strange and Venom Pool versus uh, Solo, Slapstick, and Steenray of the Deadpool guys. And they're going against Carnage. Oh, good. I'm glad you're doing good. Alrighty. So, alright. Uh, uh, another by The other bystander. Well, I'm, let's see here. I'm not going to play Lockheed because I don't make enough attack to hit Carnage yet. So, my two recruit will just get another sidekick. Yeah. Definitely interesting. <coughs> so, basically, how the story goes is. The Venom guys are trying to get Carnage under control. They venomized uh, Deadpool to help them out. The mercenaries were Deadpool's mercenary friends don't didn't like that very much, so they're going after the going after Carnage for it and so much fun, yes. Okay, Death Heads. Alrighty. We'll play, uh, let's see here, Hungry for Action, 
Digest 3. I only got one victory card. Only one card in my victory pile. Um, I do make three attack, but I do not outwit. But that's okay. I'm still going to take off the death heads. So I can start digesting instead of indigestion. Um, five recruit. Um, let's see here. Whenever you rescue a bystander uh, this turn, do any rescue ability to uh, extra ability on it a second time. And then if you excessive violence, rescue a bystander. Um, spring the trap. Uh, if a master strike or a villain that has an ambush ability uh, was played this turn, get one attack. Oh boy, this would be good for all them emissaries of evil because they have an ambush effect. So let's go ahead and um, let's get this because I think that will work just fine. So far we've had two Scheme Twists and two Master Strikes and only the Death Heads have made an appearance and two Bystanders. So far that's it. Four, five, six. Alright. Yeah, again, the Death Heads. They're just, uh... They're like the first wave, you might say. Interesting how this is turning out. Okay, so we got solo. Ugh. And then one recruit. Unfortunately, excessive violence has to be a full point extra. Um I'll go ahead and take out the death heads. Don't out with them. Don't get to recruit this time. <coughs> I'll definitely be glad when it starts raining. My allergies will calm down finally. Four. Back to the left hand. Okay, here we go. Here's that ambush effect. Let me see if I have that Ven rocket card. Ah, come on. Nope, didn't get it. Okay. Ambush. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a scheme twist, play it. It's not a scheme twist, but at least we know what's coming up next. Okay, first of all, let's go ahead, let's see, I do have two cards in the victory pile now, so I get to draw a card. Alright, lots of recruit, one attack, so one, two, three, four, five, six recruit. Ah, oh, one more recruit would have been great. Let's go ahead and get, uh, can I get a little gratitude? Uh, you live in Vegas. Uh, what exactly is this thing you call rain? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> well, I'm in Oregon, so. And normally we do get rain. But uh, we've been, uh, according to my friends that have been living here, uh, I was I was in Yellowstone National Park for 15 years, and just moved back here almost two years ago. And they said that we are now in a almost 15 year drought. So, it has not been fun. Okay, we saw the death heads were coming in. And we will fight them. We don't outwit them, but we will fight them. And then Lockheed will go back.
And then with the three recruit, still not enough to get anything, we'll get a special officer. Alright, so I do have digest too, so I do get to attack. And of course, I forgot to grab my dice. Let me get them. Thankfully, they weren't that far away. Alright, so I do get to attack. So, four attack. Let's go ahead and hit the death heads. And then. With three recruit, uh, again, I'm just not getting the recruit I need. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have a, I have a, uh, I have another friend that lives there in Vegas as well, and he said the same thing. He's like, "What's rain?" He goes, "It's either sunny and hot or snowy and cold." Egghead, ambush. Uh, let me see if I got that Venom card, uh, Rocket card. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, only that turn. Never mind. Uh, so, because I'm on the right hand side, if it's a villain, play it. It's not a villain, it's a scheme twist. At least we know it's coming. Alright, we'll play. Uh, Deck the chairs on the Titanic. Get to draw a card. And then... Play out our attack. So we got two and a half plus one and a half is four. Five, six, seven attack. Let's go ahead. We're going to hit Electro for seven. So with the excessive violence, I get one more recruit. And then with my three recruit, ah, the hope we're going to get is another Maria. I have other special officers. I just uh, decided to shuffle all the special officers, including the cinematic, together since I did that with the bystanders. Yeah, Vegas has two seasons, summer and winter. Yeah, in Oregon, normally it's nine months of rain and then summer. That's how it was when I was growing up here in Oregon, uh, 80s and 90s, e even up until the early 2000s. And then I moved to Yellowstone and then uh, came back here. Okay, Scheme Twist, number three. Again, just Venom side. Okay. All right, so digest two, I get to draw a card. Let's see, one, two, three. Yep, I do digest three. <clears throat> you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Um, hmm. Actually, yeah, I think I will. I'll go ahead and discard this agent. And I got another Maria instead. Okay, good. Uh, and then... No special ability, so two four attack is enough to hit old Egghead. Then one two 
Ah, let me do this in order. Jeez. One, two, three, five, seven recruit. Wasting no time. We're getting rocket venom rockets rare. Glad I did glad I did that digest and draw card. Discard and draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just got, oh, nice! You just got the MCU. Nice. Keep the beginner set separate and only use the option be in the league. That way, I don't have to separate everything weekly. <laughs> yeah, I hear ya. I uh, I have everything separated as well. Uh, just to give you an idea, like. In this case alone, has the X-Men, Cinematic, uh, Revelations, Ant-Man, World War Hulk, and Venom. I have eight of these cases. Um, they definitely, definitely come in handy. Alright. Oh. Gladiator Ambush. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a bystander... He captures it. Well, we know both bystanders have been captured, but at least we get to see that's a scheme twist next. All right, so I'm going to play Zabu, and we're going to KO the spreading nanovirus. And we only have three recruit, so we will get another uh, special agent, and it's our core Maria. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we knew the scheme twist is coming. We're halfway through the schemes until evil wins. So hopefully we can start hitting Carnage soon. All right. So digest two, get two attack. But it's still not going to be enough because it's four attack and gladiators five. And then with the two recruit, we'll just get a sidekick. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So we got Shriek, she has Feast, and when she feasts on a zero cost hero, each other player gains a wound, escape, uh, each player gains a wound. So, could hurt. Alright. Let's go ahead and play Deck the Chairs on the Titanic. And draw a card. So let's go ahead and play that down. So we have one, two, and one half, and two and a half. That is four, five, six attack. Let's go ahead and excessive violence, Gladiator. So we can get that one extra recruit. So that means we have one, three, five, six recruit. Um, since I've been struggling with recruit, let's go ahead and get steam rays. Uh, three recruit. Uh, then if you access the violence, you may KO one of your car, uh, cards or a card from your discard pile. Not bad. Which is definitely going to come in handy. Try to get rid of those rares. And there goes the train. I really wish I, I used to have all the boxes, um, especially the big boxes. I really wish I did, but when I had to make the move from Yellowstone back to Oregon, I had to condense everything. So I bought these uh, those uh, uh, long white boxes that you normally would use for your magic cards. And then I, um, then I, uh, over the last year, I bought those uh, black cases like that. 
because it was getting really uh, difficult um, with the white boxes trying to figure out which one was which, even though they were all marked. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Carrion. Not one. He's not one of my favorites at all. Okay, but I have four attack, five recruit. Um, let's see here. I have enough to hit Carrion. Uh, when you feast on a hero that costs one or more, put Carrion back in. Uh, hmm. You know what? I don't want to chance it just yet. I just got a rare. I don't want to end up risking uh, losing that rare. Um, so with my five recruit, however, I don't want any of these guys because they're for the other team. So I will just go ahead and get a Maria and a Lockheed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, oh, it's Rhino. Ambush, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a master strike, each player gains a wound. It's a scheme twist. Okay, so my two attack is not going to hit anything. My four recruit. Let's go ahead and get uh, this so I can be able to use it for more draw cards. You know, I was hoping the shuffling I did would even out the teams better, but apparently it did not. I'm deciding uh, in getting one of those long box cards that hold 3,000 cards. All my heroes, but I'm waiting to see if Upper Deck actually works. Yeah, I, I kind of hope that they would have started something by now for storage. Alright, that was number five. Um, let's see here. Okay, no Master Strike was played. Let's see here. Digest 3. Yep, I can definitely do that. Let's go ahead and discard this agent. Ah, got another agent. Um, definitely get the two attack. Alright, so... We have five, seven, nine, eleven attack. Let's go ahead and hit Carnage for the first time. We'll get these two bystanders in the process. The first, he's going to feast. All right, feast, and then you get a recruit equal to the uh, cost of the card he feasts on. Okay, this might be good, right? Uh, okay, well, he feasts on a four. Uh, well, bye, Rocket. We knew you well. So, that gives me seven recruit. Oh, man. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to get Doctor Strange. Ugh. So, we will get another... We'll get Dum Dum Dugan. And we'll get our psychic. Radiation Psychist will KO this agent. Put Carnage in our victory pile. Lockheed will go back.
but at least we hit him. Just got to keep hitting him if possible. Two, three, four, five, six. Especially since we have five out of the eight scheme twists. Oh, well, there's uh, number six. So, ugh, man. Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and play this, draw a card. Alright, I'm going to swap these two. Because she has an escape effect. Um, so, again, that's going to be four, five attack. Let's take out Rhino. And then with my six recruit, we will go ahead and get um, Slapstick's uh, Surprise Chainsaw. Game twist number seven. Come on. <sighs> it's like it doesn't want me to win. Alright, digest two, draw a card. Alrighty, well, I got one, two, three, four, five. Again, seven recruit. Seriously. Alright, we'll get this for two. And then there's a five. Ah, come on. Yeah, it this is not this is not fun. I mean it's a fun setup. I really am, am enjoying this, but it's starting to get a little frustrating when these scheme twists keep coming out and I'm just now only been able to hit him once. But Oh, Master Strike. Okay, starting with the right hand side. Oh, well, there goes a Steam Ray. And there goes a train. And there goes a zero cost card. And gain a wound. That's a loud train. Alrighty. First of all, play that, draw a card. That didn't help. Alright, three and a half attacks, not gonna hit anything. I do have a uh, five recruit. Let's go ahead and get um actually we will get both of these cards. just so we can open up the HQ a bit better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't help that you had a lot of expensive cards in HQ for a while. Very true. Rhino, is it Master Strike? Nope, it's the Death Heads. Alright. 
So I have four attack. I know that at least I know it's not the rare that's going to be on top. So let's go ahead and attack Carrion. And he feasts. Oh, he feasts on the wound. So that's gone. That's good. That's lucky. I'll take it. Two, four, six recruit. Let's go ahead and get these guys for five. So the death heads come in. <coughs> okay, well, only one attack, but I have a lot of recruit here. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Oh, gee, that would have been great for this side. Um, let's go ahead and get guns on my guns since I got a lot of tech going. So that took care of five. And with my three floating, let's just get a sidekick. These Maria cards are just too much. One, two, three, four, five. And, ooh, Ebus Demo Goblin captures a bystander. All righty. Well, first of all, we'll play Miss Lion and rescue a bystander. That's the banker. When you rescue this banker, you get, uh, uh, to recruit useful to the heroes in the bank. Well, thankfully it's a card that I need. I'm going to put them right there for now. And then I get to draw a card. Uh, digest 3. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. Let's go ahead and discard this agent. Well, good that did. Digest two. Get to attack. So I have five attack. Let's see here. I do outwit. So let me go ahead and play my recruit down. Um. We'll go ahead and get this guy for two. And we'll get a sidekick for two. And then we will attack the death heads. And because we do outwit them, we will KO this agent. It also didn't help that I couldn't uh, outwit the death heads there for a while, too. Otherwise, I would have been able to KO a lot more zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, up. Uh, another Demo Goblin. Captures a bystander. Right, 
First of all, we'll play Saturday Morning Harpoons. Then Surprise Chainsaw. Okay. So two and a half and four and a half is seven. Nine and a half, ten. Okay, we're going to hit the mastermind. Four ten, we're going to excessive violence him. Feast, each player reveals the top card of their deck. Then carnage feast on the player of your choice. Oh boy. Alright, so each player's got a feast. Uh, we will feast the Maria. I got enough of her. And then because I did excessive violence, let's see here. Um, let's we'll choose this one. Uh, well, when, when you rescue, when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of the turn, draw an extra card. And with the two recruit, we're just going to get a sidekick. All right, thanks for stopping by, my elves. Glad I, glad you enjoyed it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Master Strike. Okay. Top card is a ah, poor sidekick. And for the right hand side, it's a zero, so they get a wound. Man, I'm getting nothing but these. Awful, awful wounds today. Alright, so uh, play the Cauldron of the Cosmos, get to draw a card. So nice, we're going to do it twice. Um, okay, well, I don't have anything to attack, but I finally get to use enough recruit so one two four six eight eleven recruit will get uh, crystal of cadavis <laughs> reveal the top three cards of your deck draw one of them discard one KO one um, and then if you play two venom cards before you do it again is good. Oh, hang on. So one of the cards here's sleeves kind of split open, which happens. One second, I gotta replace it. And of course, it had to be a rare. <sighs> All right, there we go. I'll, do, I'll garbage trash that in a minute. Okay, three, and with three remaining, we will get this rocket. Okay. Huh, way to see the mastermind. All right, bye. See you, thanks again, my arms. Death heads come back onto the scene. Oh, that's right. I get to draw an extra card thanks to the ability. Almost proud of that. All right. So first of all, we're gonna play deck the chairs. Draw a card. Uh, may move in a Jason city space or switch places so let's go ahead switch this guy and 
And then we'll play that, draw a card. And then we're going to draw two more cards. Oh. Oh, thank you. Okay. And then, since I play attack before this, you may use uh, two extra attack usable against the villains in the sewers bridge or against the mastermind. Then we're going to play Guns of My Guns. Since I play attack before this, uh, does the top card of your uh, deck have a gun in the art? If you do, draw that gun. Actually, yeah, he has a gun. So I get to draw him. All right, so I have one and a half. Um, let's go ahead and make this two and a half against the mastermind. So that's going to make it four, seven and a half, eight. Ah, I don't have enough. I was off. But let's go ahead and let's see here. I can use that one in the sewers. So let's go ahead. We're going to take care of. Uh, Demo Goblin, we rescue the bystander, which is the martial art master. And we got Feast, the top card, is a trooper. Goodbye, thank you. Um, see, how much attack was that again? So it was three and a half, one and a half, that's four. Okay, so yeah, we definitely excessive violence. So. I'm going to then excessive violence. Yeah, you may KO one of your cards uh, from your discard pile. That's great. I want to get rid of the psychic trauma. Alright. Psychic goes back. All this recruit now. So three, five, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, well let's get this for eight. This one for two. Downside of all those getting all those Marias though was now I got too many, but it's kind of why I was hoping to hit the feast more often and chances to get rid of her more quickly, but or the zero cost, but it's not going out the way I was hoping. But that that's how it happens. All right, Shriek. Okay. No Master Strike was played. Um, we're going to play Throg next. So I can trigger the Digest the Chimichanga. I can do get both to attack. And draw a card. And not draw a card, but get a bystander. Now wound a bystander. So, two, four, five attack. Ah, boy. Let's go ahead and get this uh, other Demo Goblin with the Bystander. Reveal the top card. If it's a zero card, KO it. Nope, it's a rocket. And with three recruit, let's go ahead and get another Deadpool Chimichanga. Definitely did not help that a lot of the high costing cards were out there for the longest time. But that's one of the great nice thing about this game is that there's so many different variables that can happen. And really don't get me started on variables. I'm taking math right now. So it's like try it's like think of the probabilities and stuff like that of all the different possibilities that can happen. 
it's a uh, it, it can get a little annoying um, all right okay if this is a scheme twist on top it gets played and the game's over it's not it's carrying so at least we know what's coming next okay first of all we're gonna play hairball and draw a card Then we'll play Deck the Chairs, draw a card. Guns on my guns. If the top card has a gun in it, draw it. No, he has a mallet. Ah, oh, man. Alright, so. Alright, one, two, five and a half. Seven attack. Let's go ahead and um, seven attack. Let's go ahead and hit Rhino. And then recruit wise, I have five recruit. Let's get some more guns. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we know Carrion's coming out next. So, Ultimate Survivor. We only get the two attack. Let's see here. Digest 3, discard a card to draw a card. I'll discard the wound. And we get another Maria. Alright, so 5, 7, 10, 12 attack. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of the death heads. And then hit Carnage for the third time. He will feast. And he feasts on a card that costs zero this way. Each other player caves on a bystander from their victory pile. Ah, well, yep, it was a zero. So they had to KO. Let's see, right side. Any bystanders? No, no bystanders. Om nom nom. Well, uh, you don't get to munch on very much. Okay, and then with my four recruit, um, we'll get shenanigans. Deadpool's all about shenanigans. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I only need him two more times. There's the death heads. Okay. Play that. Get to draw a card. Ah. All right, so two and a half and two and a half is five, six attack. Um, and I have five for recruit. So here's what we're going to do for the five recruit. We're going to get um, uh, half cocked. Then we're going to excessive violence. This. So we can use that. KO this wound. Death heads, we do um, outwit them. So we'll KO an agent. And. Two, 
two, three, four, five, six. Come on, I just need enough time. And I don't get it. There's the eighth and final scheme twist. So, Carnage escapes the Venom guys, uh, Rocket, Rocket, uh, Venom Rocket, and Venom Strange. Um, makes a deal with the Deadpool guys. They de-venomize um, Deadpool. And then um, they go off to try get uh, try another time to take out Carnage. So, all right, guys. Well, a bit of a bummer, but it, this was still fun. I mean, it could have gone. I mean, there wasn't very many cards left in the villain deck, so it could have gone uh, anyway. But um, so this uh, scheme and, and Carnage will not be eliminated. Um, so, we will see them again sometime soon, and, and same with the, uh, heroes. So, alright, well, thank you, Myomes, for stopping by, keeping me company. Thank you for everybody that watches this, whether here on Twitch or on my YouTube channel. Again, I will be getting to those very soon. I'm slowly putting them up there. But until then, we'll see you again here on Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and for Marvel Monday. So, all right, you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe, and we'll see you again here at GT Guild Gaming.